Now this short tutorial deals with problem number 1b in the study guide for the CHEM 110 titrometric analysis experiment. It can be found in the CHEM 110 lab manual. Now if you're a CHEM 154 student, this tutorial may also be applicable, although the problem could be slightly different. So again, if you're a CHEM 154 student, please check your lab manual. So getting to the solution for this problem, again, it's problem 1b, where we have a certain volume of a known molarity of hydrochloric acid in an LMR flask, and from a burette is added sodium hydroxide until the acid is neutralized. And at the end point, the average titer of sodium hydroxide is given in the question as 24.93 milliliters. So we have to find the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. So let's look at what we know in this experiment. We know the molarity of the HCl, molarity of the acid, and we also know the volume of the acid that we started with. We don't know the molarity of the base, the sodium hydroxide, that's what we want to find out in this problem, but we do know the average titer, the average volume of sodium hydroxide which was used to neutralize the 25 milliliters of acid. So we know this, we know this, we know this, and we don't know that, the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. Now the solution to this problem that's given in the appendix of your lab manual uses a dimensional analysis approach. And I'll go over that if there's time at the end of the tutorial, but for now, let me use the alternative method that was shown in the previous tutorial, where we always begin by writing out the balanced equation. So here is the balanced equation for this reaction. Hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide produces the salt, which is sodium chloride in this case, and water. Now the equation, as I've just written it, is in fact balanced, and we can therefore read from that equation the stoichiometry of the reaction, the relative numbers of moles of acid and base that are reacting, which is 1 to 1. In other words, for every 1 mole of hydrochloric acid we have in the Erlenmeyer flask, we need 1 mole of sodium hydroxide to exactly neutralize it. So from the stoichiometry of the reaction, we can say that the number of moles of acid, hydrochloric acid, is equal to the number of moles of sodium hydroxide needed to neutralize the acid. And recall that number of moles equals molarity times volume. So we can therefore say the molarity of the acid times the volume of the acid equals the molarity of the base times the volume of the base. Now do remember that out of these four quantities, MAVA, MBVB, there's only one which we do not know. Remember MB, that's what we're trying to find out, the molarity of the base. So if we substitute in the values that we do know in this equation, we can say the molarity of the acid, which is 0 0.09850, zero moles per liter times the volume of the acid and we have to report this in liters so that the liters units cancel so the volume of the acid was 25 milliliters which is 0 0.02500 liters so that equals the molarity of the base which is what we're trying to find out this is the unknown quantity times the volume of the base, which is the average titer in liters, 0 0.02493 liters. And these are units of mole per liter. So, rearranging the equation, we can say that the molarity of the base is therefore equal to 0 0.09850 times 0 0.02500 divided by 0 0.02493. And if we plug these numbers into our calculator, we'll find that the result is equal to 0 0.09878 moles per liter of sodium hydroxide. 
and if we follow the rules of significant figures properly, this must be reported as it is here to four significant figures. And in this case, that happens to be five decimal places of precision. Okay, so that was uh, an alternate method of doing the calculation. Now, uh, see, we've just got a little bit of time left. We'll take a quick look at the dimensional analysis type of approach. And remember, this is the approach which appears in the solutions in Appendix 2 of your lab manual. And when using this type of approach, we should always, first of all, figure out what can we calculate the number of moles of? Can we calculate the number of moles of the acid? Or can we calculate the number of moles of the base? And of course here, it's the acid. We can easily calculate the number of moles of acid because we know its molarity and the volume of the acid. But we can't calculate the number of moles of base because we don't know its molarity. So we first of all will determine the moles of acid and then convert that through the stoichiometry to the number of moles of base and then from there we can calculate the concentration of the base, the molarity of the base, which is its concentration in units of moles per litre. Okay, so again, we look at the balanced chemical equation. We get from that the stoichiometry of the reaction. And we begin by calculating the number of moles of the acid. So the molarity of the acid, which is 0 0.09850 moles per litre, that is of HCl. We multiply that by the volume of HCl in litres, 0 0.0. 2500 litres and we get the litres to cancel leaving us with moles of HCl and from moles of HCl via the stoichiometry the known stoichiometry we can get to moles of sodium hydroxide so we multiply that by the stoichiometric ratio which is one mole of sodium hydroxide per one mole of HCl and by doing that the moles of HCl will cancel and leave us with moles of sodium hydroxide and finally we need to multiply this by this ratio here 1 over 0 0.02493 liters and if we plug all of these values into a calculator we should get the result of 0 0.09878 moles per litre of sodium hydroxide. Check back that all our units cancel, our moles of HCl cancel, our litres of HCl cancel. We're left with units of moles of sodium hydroxide divided by litres sodium hydroxide moles per litre of sodium hydroxide. Again, four significant figures are needed in this final answer.